Hey what's up guys welcome back this is Ashok from TechieB and today we have another ROM to review for MI A1 and which is my favorite ROM called Liquid Remix. So guys this ROM is based on Android 8.1 with the latest security patch of 1st April 2018 and guys this is my favorite ROM which I've been using on my other devices also and this ROM comes pre-installed with Google camera which works great no issues portrait mode and everything is working fine on this camera except motion photos. So if you want to have Google camera along with fluidity and the speed then you should try this ROM. So guys this room comes with lots of customization options which can be found under liquid launch and this is not an official build it's an unofficial build so first i'll show you here you can customize your launcher which includes icon pack icon badging notification dot number adaptive icon icon mask and after that you have option of add new apps on the home screen predictive app Google Now tab can be enabled. You can also enable dark theme. Many customization options available under this launcher. And on the top you can see you have lots of customization options available for status bar. I'll show you all the customization and later part I'll also show you benchmark results which I have got it on this ROM. And guys to install this ROM follow the guide given in the description below. It's the same guide. You don't have to do much. Just follow the steps which I have mentioned in the description below and you are good to go. And talking about quick setting tiles, sliding notification and here you have 3 is to 2 ratio available. Going under settings, let's go to display and under this you have color management which is working fine. You can set as light, dark or other options which are available. So you have light, dark, black and you can also change the ascent color. There are many color options also available. Display rotation also gives you few extra options like you can rotate your display to 90 degree, 180 and 270 degree. So talking about night mode, you can schedule the night mode or else you can on or off it from here. Going under advance, here you have option to change the DP, dashboard condition and double tap to wake is working awesome, no issues on double tap to wake, you just tap the screen and the device wakes up properly. So these are the normal basic options what we get you here you get root management but make sure you flash magisk or else you won't be able to have root access. Under system you get gestures which gives you options of ambient, hand wave, pulse, pocket and proximity wake. All these gestures are working fine no issues. Now let's go to the main customization options which are available under liquid launch. So here you have lots of customizations related to buttons, gestures, lock screen, miscellaneous, navigation bar, notifications, power menu, quick settings, recents and the last one is the status bar. So we won't be covering all the customizations. We'll cover up few and you guys can check out all the customization options available under this room. So under buttons, many of the devices doesn't have option to disable hardware keys and also you can change the time of backlight for the hardware keys or the buttons which are available here at the bottom. Going under gestures, here you can find AOSP and which says swipe fingerprint for notification that is working fine, no issues in that. Jump to camera option also works fine when the device screen is locked, you just need to double press the power key and the device will open up camera application. Then you also have three finger gestures that is screenshot, you can swipe three fingers and the device will take the screenshot. Going under lock screen, here you can customize the shortcuts, lock screen, weather, clock font can be changed from here. Later you have media art which can be enabled or disabled, charging info which will give you voltage and battery temperature on the lock screen, face auto unlock, that face unlock is not available on this room so you cannot use that. Now going to miscellaneous, here you have ambient music ticker, alarm blocker, screen off animations, you can always keep media transfer instead of charging when you plug in your data cable, wake up device on charge. Under navigation bar you get option of battery bar which can be placed on the status bar, top of the navigation bar or else bottom of the navigation bar if, if you have enabled navigation bar but if not then you can use it on the status bar charging animation can be enabled you can also change the thickness of battery bar and from here you can enable navigation bar later you can customize the navigation mode to smart bar or fling and also can change the height and the width of the navigation bar 
Now moving on to notification, this gives you options of head up notification, battery light, notification light, vibrate on connect, vibrate on call waiting. Going to recent panel, here you have options of clear all. You can also enable memory bar so just tap here and the memory bar will be available on the top of the recent then you can also hide the applications and the last option over here is the status bar which gives you option of status bar item career label clock options here you can change the alignment of clock you can keep it towards the left hand side or the right hand side then you have status bar whether show percentage notification ticker liquid logo which can be enabled or disabled from here and if you enable that will be available in the status bar and the last thing which i like the most on this device is the option which is available under power menu which says on the go and here you can see you can enable this mode from here and when you press the power key you will have an option of on the go tap this and now your camera starts working so if you are using your device while walking you this mode will help you in avoiding any obstruction while using the phone when you are walking so one of the coolest feature which i like on this room and again if you want to disable you can use the same method just use the power key and tap on the go so guys these are the features available on this room now talking about the benchmark results going with Geekbench application and on this room I have got the highest benchmark results compared to any other room. Under single core it scores 858 wherein multi core scores 4406. Going with Antutu bench application under this results are 81161. So amazing results and amazingly smooth room. No issues till now being an unofficial build. Volt services are working, no issues in Volt services also. One of the best ROM which I'll be using from now on my MI A1. No lags, no overheating issues on the ROM. You can also change the launcher if you don't like the stock launcher available here. So guys, these were the things available on this ROM and installation process you can check out the video which is given in the description below as of now only this much in this video hope you like the video and if you like the video do give me a thumbs up also if you are new to my channel do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day